Um, Kato just appeared out of nowhere. She was a like a neglected dog on the eastern shore of Nova Scotia, and my friend found out that she was not being treated right, and so they just asked if I'd take her, you know. And then um, I just, as soon as I laid eyes on her, I was like, okay, <laughs> and I've had her ever since. I feel very fortunate. The dogs on Galliano are all wonderful dogs, and not like being in the city. They're not all stressed out. They're calm and quiet. Uh, they they're quite relaxed and and happy when they're here and. So that's how, how it came to be. He's named Dylan. When we first found him, his name was Target. And uh, he'd been abused as a puppy. Cassie was already named when we got her. Um, she was uh, in a small apartment and the people were working and she has big issues about being left alone. Jazz's personality is very chilled out. She's very mellow, very sort of cuddly as far as dogs go, whereas Tara's more on her own, likes to go explore, not too concerned about people. <laughs> they got a new puppy, so then they just tied Oso up and left them there. And then I came to my brother's and I saw him and he could barely move and stuff. Yeah, originally when we got Jazz, it was sort of like a sap story for my mom because she came from like a high class breeder, but her tail sort of is supposed to go like that, but it goes like that, and it's got a little crink in the end, which means that she couldn't be used for show. She's also got like an enzyme deficiency or something, so there's a bunch of stuff wrong with her, so they couldn't use her in that sense. But she's made my mom pretty happy. Okay, Kato is my best friend. <laughs> I love her so much. Yep, she's my number one for sure. Mm -hmm. Dylan is my absolute soulmate. He's my once-in-a-lifetime dog. We fell in love from the minute I found him. He's with me constantly. And I remember when I first got him, he started to make my husband slightly ill and asthmatic. And uh, I looked at my husband and I said, don't make me choose. You really don't want to go there. And um, luckily, he's OK with the dogs now. But I don't think I could ever have parted with that dog. He's my best friend in the whole world. He's my absolute perfect dog. He's my soulmate. He doesn't even know he's supposed to be a dog. I mean, he just thinks he's my human. Yeah. The only story that comes to mind isn't the best story, though, but it's like, a, uh, I can't tell that story. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> it really is, so I'll get in trouble. <laughs> but she did, like, just this summer, she fell in my outhouse. And then she like ran through my whole house, like completely ruining everything. It was unbelievable. It wasn't just us, it was my other friend. But that was pretty memorable. And she rolled in a dead seal once, which was actually worse than the oat house. It was so bad. I actually w didn't want her anymore when she did that. I was just like, you go that way, I'm going that way. But then, you know, we got through it. Now she doesn't do it anymore. Me and also have a game and, and it's called Dog Tag. And then he's the person who tries to tag the kids or the grown-ups and he runs after them. Oh yeah. Ow. 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 Where's your voice, you know? Oh well. <coughs> If you're playing, like, sometimes the fiddle, my friend plays the fiddle, and she'll, like, m match the key of it, like, so amazingly, it's like, wow. It's like, I think Galliano dogs have it made. There's so many, like, beaches and woods and places to go. She has all the beaches memorized now, so as soon as we start getting close, she gets super excited, you know? She's like, going to the bus, going to Morning Beach. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, Galliano dogs are lucky, <laughs> for sure.